did Epic Games do the right or wrong thing when approaching this season? After all of the outrage, should they have reduced the car health and all of the other nerfs that we've seen from them today? We're going to take a look at a post that got a lot of attraction from Jojo Doziah, which you should also go subscribe to the channel. You can find it in the pinned comment link down in the description down below. Anyways, guys, we're going to be taking a look at that, what the top replies had to say, what some other creators had to say on the matter. And as always, guys, I would love to know what you think about it down below afterwards. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kyle. I am your guy with many YouTube channels. Let's start off by taking a look at this tweet over from Jojo Josiah. I could be wrong, but I feel like Epic took the worst possible route with this season. They heavily appealed to the casual player base, which made the competitive players mad. They slowly made the casual players mad by nerfing everything. Now, nobody is happy. And you can see, you've seen a couple tweets like this, I'm sure that you have. And we're, we're kind of in that cycle right now that people are pointing to where it's like, okay, everybody loves it. Epic starts nerfing stuff. Everybody's bored. That's kind of where we are at with this season, but I do ultimately, and if you guys follow the channel, you would know that I definitely 100% agree with what Jojo Josiah had to say over here, but it is important to note that while I do agree with this, I am so pro splitting the loot pools. I think that's what Epic Games needs to do, and I, that way everybody can be happy because I do think that competitive players are undis understandably upset about the season. Regardless, I still want my pubs to be fun, and I still do agree with this. Like JoJo said, they I, I believe they took the worst route possible when it comes to this, but what did people have to say to this? What what else did we have to expand upon this tweet? And just to get different ideas for the video, that's what we like to do here on the channel. And as always, guys, I'd love to hear from you down below. I lied. JoJo expanded on his tweet. <laughs> Anyways, why can't we just have one season that is more competitive focused like last season, then a chaotic season, then a competitive season, etc.? Fortnite needs to switch things up, but then backs down and gives up when push comes to shove. If next season nerfs all the Marvel Mythics, I'm going to scream and dude, I have been very vocal about being incredibly worried about that. Chapter 2 Season 4 was one of the most beloved seasons of all time. Honestly, even on the competitive side of things, we didn't hear a lot of uproar. I could see them being upset internally, but regardless, the Mythics being so ridiculous, overpowered, so chaotic, were fun. And I have a huge, I have a pretty strong feeling that Epic Games is going to just release them, maybe give us a week of fun. Everybody's going to cry, then they're going to nerf them, kind of like we saw with the cars, except I would imagine they're going to they're gonna work a little bit quicker. They're going to act a little bit quicker. But hey, I'm kind of on the opinion now that this is all according to plan. That way, at least the casuals can have some fun at the beginning of the season. But regardless, plus, Fortnite gets in the trending, right? It's just a little conspiracy theory I've been working on myself. But man, like... I don't know how I feel necessarily about having like one fun season and then one chaotic season. Yeah, you know what? That could work. But at the same time, split the loopholes. Like, I don't want to keep spending so much time talking about it because I said this so much along the channel, guys. It's so easy to make everybody happy in that sense. But I am really worried about the Marvel Mythics. That's completely, completely true. But now, what did people say? One of the top replies over here was by Sizzo, a wonderful, wonderful member we have over here on the channel. Agreed, the Marvel season we had in Chapter 2 was very casual leaning, and no doubt it will appeal to the casuals again next season. I worry for next season because it can't. I can't see the casual audience taking too kindly to it if things that start getting nerfed, and also it will be made worse by the fact that Disney and Marvel will likely be overlooking how this next season performs, and if Epic starts nerfing things, which leads to player numbers dipping, I can't see that looking good on Epic's part with Disney overlooking them. That's actually something that I was going to note myself, not this specifically, but... I completely forgot, and I'm glad that this post ended up mentioning it, because we, if you guys would remember, there was really nothing wrong with Chapter 2 Season 4, and that's because, like the tweet said, like Sizzo said over here, Disney was watching over Epic Games for the season. There were no delays, there weren't, I'm sure, like, there were some bugs, like, throughout the season, but, like, for the most part, everything worked perfectly well, the updates were on time, the updates functioned perfectly, there was nothing wrong with the live event, and we have seen lots go wrong with the live events over the years, right? And Epic Games handled the season properly. So I am I still think that there, it's not going to be nearly as fun as we had it in Chapter 2. But at the same time, if Disney's looking over their shoulders, and that's a very, very important thing, especially since they bought out a little bit of Epic Games, maybe for once Disney can come and save the day, you know? <laughs> you know, I, I mean, you don't, you don't hear that too often anymore. But anyways, let's continue on to British Guy. Or they need to split ranked in pubs. Have more chaotic, fun, and broken items in pubs, and if someone doesn't like it, they can play ranked, with which either doesn't have the item or severely nerfs it. 
Though, obviously, it's the Fortnite community, so not everyone is going to be happy. Yeah, you know what? Even if they did that, let's say Epic Games did it, end up separating the loot pools, you just know that there would still be crying online. But anyways, if that were to happen, and we still have people crying about it, they would be completely incorrect, and we would be able to shame them. But honestly, man, it's that simple. It really is that simple, and I hope that after this season, Epic Games at least considers it a little bit. Let's continue on to Call Me Nearly. Top players will say they're keeping the game alive, but actively make Epic kill the main mode just to move to something else anyways. It's insane. To be fair, though, to be fair to the competitive players in that sense, nobody knew that Fortnite Reload was coming out, and I love that nobody knew that, by the way, but that's a conversation for another time. I've been playing more Fortnite Reload than anything anyways. Let's continue on to Straw Desert, which another channel you guys should go check out. Fantastic, fantastic work over there. I will always stand by one ideology. Competitive Fortnite needs to forever stay its own thing opposite the casual Fortnite. Casual Fortnite should always be fun, chaotic, and hilarious. And that's the magic of Fortnite. We don't have a ton of that anymore, and then, what do you know, everybody's sitting here going, Oh, I miss the OG days. Fortnite just doesn't feel the same. It doesn't feel the same. It just feels different, you know? Why? I wonder why that is. Let's continue on over to Denny. Unfortunately, very true. I stopped playing Battle Royale after the crazy nerves. Those first two weeks were literally so much fun, man. I had a blast with them too, but again, it is important to note that, like I said, it's understandable for the competitive players to be upset about this ridiculous meta being inside competitive. But the reason that I do like this tweet is because I am kind of over there with Denny in the sense that I barely touch BR. I would be playing Battle Royale, don't get me wrong, I would be, and I still love Battle Royale as it is right now. I strongly prefer Fortnite Reload right now. With the hit scan, with the fun weapons, the shotgun metas, fantastic. We have shockwaves. We have, like I said, we have fun fan favorite items in there. And I am really enjoying it right now. My point being that along with that mode being a blast, Epic Games nerfed everything so much that I'm not not having fun with it, but I just don't care about it. Does that make sense? I just don't care about the season nearly as much. So I have been only playing Fortnite Reload. I don't know about you guys, but my friends have been doing the same thing. Let's continue on to Diamond Lynx. It was so bad they had they had to add Fortnite Reload. Now, this is something that I don't remember if I actually touched on it in a video, but I hear this opinion a lot and I really don't know what to think. And this is something that I would love to hear from you guys in the comments, please. Like, because I, I don't have a strong opinion on it. I could see them adding Fortnite Reload because we know it took about a month for them to make, right? They could have added it because the players were mad and giving the competitive players something to play. Or it could have been something they've been working on, because it seems like a happy medium with OG Fortnite. We know the player numbers have been dipping since OG Fortnite, so it, I can see both reasons being true there. But again, I would love to know what you guys think about this, because I really don't have an opinion on it. Let's continue on to Daddy Tonrak. Epic needs to grow some balls and stick to the decisions they make when launching a new season, because... And there is nothing else that follows that. But anyways, <laughs> you know... What is interesting is because back in the day, for the most part, Epic Games actually did have, uh, to put it like in the same words as this tweet, they did have balls and they did stick to the decisions they made for the most part. Of course, there were things where it's like, hey, we overstepped, we nerfed a little bit, but they even left the mechs for a very, very long time. I know they nerfed them just a little bit, but I mean, like, they people weren't happy with them. They left the planes. How long did it take for them to take the Infinity Blade out? Regardless, back in Chapter 1, Epic Games made stuff and really stuck to it. Fort Nightmares with all the zombies throughout the entire two weeks. They never touched them. I don't know. Maybe they do need to get back to that. And just, but then again, the community was absolutely in shambles. That's something that, man, you know what? That's, that's, that's what we're going to talk about. The community was in shambles in chapter one. It was, and everybody is remembering it completely incorrectly. I was saying that the reason mentioning that and the reason I'm thinking about this is because if Epic Games does, as the tweet said, grow some balls and stick to the decisions they made, we would have another repeat of Chapter 1, which was a horrible, horrible state for the community, despite of how many of you refuse to admit that. That's what the that's what the, the entire online community was doing. They were hating on the game. They were in shambles, just like this season. And I've always said it was worse than you saw with this season. It was like that. So maybe Epic's tired of it. From an Epic Games perspective, it's kind of like just like, okay, I'll, uh, giving the toddler ice cream, you know? Like, okay, just stop bugging me. That's probably kind of what they're feeling right now. I don't know, man. I don't know, but then again, they can't monitor online, but also, I don't know. It's it's a really, really tough thing to think about. Regardless, like I said, that chapter one video, we've seen, it's been getting, picking up a little bit more views, which is very nice. So if you are interested in hearing me expand about this whole thing that I was just talking about, the truth of OG Fortnite and chapter one and how people are remembering it completely incorrectly, I want you guys to check out this video right here on screen right now. 
I think it's a pretty good video. A little bit different than what we usually do, but regardless, I would love to have you over there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.